Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang arrives at Arsenal training ground to undergo medical. Earlier today Aubameyang was spotted at an airport in Germany wheeling his luggage into the terminal. Speculation suggested he was on his way to London ahead of his move to an Sky Sports claim he has now turned up at the club's training ground to undergo a medical. Express Sport understands the two clubs have agreed a pound 55.5 million club record fee for his transfer. Arsenal have agreed a deal with Borussia Dortmund for Aubameyang after more than a fortnight's negotiations and the Gabon International has agreed a three-year contract worth around £180,000 a week, which would make him the highest paid player at the Emirates. With Aubameyang on the brink of joining Arsenal it remains to be seen who Dortmund will sign to replace him. Live at one point a deal hinged on the Bundesliga side getting in a new striker with Olivier Giroud and Chelsea's Michy Batshuayi linked. With Aubameyang arriving at Arsenal, Giroud will be pushed further down the pecking order. Are also said to be in the running for Giroud but Arsenal would prefer to sell to Dortmund than their Premier League rivals. German football expert Raphael Honigstein today confirmed a deal would go through for Aubameyang though, and gave Arsenal fans an insight into what they can expect from the Gabon hitman. Honigstein said on the BBC's Euroleague's podcast, yes, he is going for sure. Dortmund are still trying to get a replacement in, but it's looking pretty good for Michy Batshuayi on loan, that's the latest we've heard. They're reluctant to buy outright and there aren't that many players that fit the bill on loan for them. This one is definitely going through. He'll bring pace, great finishing and great movement to the table. I think it'll be hard to get him to play alongside, Alexander, Lokazit. He's someone who will add goals for Arsenal, but I don't know if he'll individually lift the team to another level. I'm not sure he's that type of player. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang to Arsenal Timeline January 21 Arsenal Chief Executive Ivan Gazidis, Sven Mislintat and Husfami are spotted in Dortmund as speculation mounts over a bid for Aubameyang January 22 Wenger speaks about the Aubameyang deal in his press conference but remains coy on the developments. You never know how close you are, he said. This is the kind of thing, he is one of the possible movements, but we have other things in mind as well. We have plenty of opportunities and the final decision is not made. At the moment we're not close to any deal, Aubameyang or anybody else. January 25 Dortmund reject a bid of around £50 million for Aubameyang but talks continue. January 27 Michael Zork tells Arsenal to pay up if they want Aubameyang either our demands are met, then there may be still a transfer, Zork told Sky Sports Germany. But, if they are not fulfilled then Alba plays until the summer in Dortmund. So it is discussed by the way also with the family Aubameyang and accepted. Arsenal has started several attempts that we have declined, so I cannot say how it will end at the moment. January 28 Arsenal agree £180,000 a week deal with Aubameyang to make him highest paid player in club's history. January 29 Arsenal finally agree a £55 million deal in principle with Dortmund. Although the Bundesliga side want a replacement before the deal goes through Dortmund wanted Olivier Giroud in return but are looking into Michy Batshuayi and Anthony Modest. January 29 Ian Wright admits he's nervous about Arsenal missing out on the deal I'm really nervous because I really want that to happen, Wright said on BBC Radio 5 Live. Inadvertently Arsenal would have done good business by doing terrible business in the first place. They would have fallen on their feet, 
I'm so excited by that. January 30th Aubameyang gets a private jet from Dortmund to London and arrives at the Arsenal training ground.